of new features on our shows. Yeah. So this one is going to be, we're going to name it something, but right for right now, it's called The Great Search on DigiKey. DigiKey and Adafruit, The Great Search on DigiKey. Because Lady Ada is one of the best engineers in the world searching on DigiKey. And how she searched... I know what to type. How, she, how people have said, how do, you, how do you find those things so easily when I see you on the shows? So we're going to do that right now. And this is a great search. Take it away. Okay. So, working on this chip, this boost converter, this 8 amp boost converter, or this 8 amp switch, the TPS 61022. And there's, there's not a lot of components you need for this. This is a very simple design. Um, you just need a capacitive input, capacitive output, and some feedback resistors. But you need this inductor. And the inductor actually is pretty important. You need to have the right inductor because the inductor is what uses stores and then basically you know when you release it it the voltage increases on it and that's how you get your uh boost conversion so um they do have some recommended inductors and i like to use these as my guiding principles as i get some inductors and i usually pick up a couple different ones and i compare them and compare the noise output i compare the efficiency um you know, depending on uh, pricing also, that can, that can be part of it, um, or EMI. There's all sorts of reasons. So let's look at what it takes to uh, search for and find a good inductor for this uh, product. Some names, DigiKeyQuest, DigiQuest. All right, DigiQuest. keep these names coming because we, we will think of something really good together. This is how, this is how it works. This is how... We come up with feature names. So the first step, you actually just search for the uh, suggested inductor, and they do have it, um, which is rare. It's where actually, sorry, no, it's out of stock for a full reel, but they do have it in cut tape. It's very rare for you to find the data sheet suggested inductor for sale. I don't know why. I think it's because people do tend to get custom inductors or something, but it's, uh, it's a rarity. Um, sometimes when you're searching for a part, I recommend using this product attributes like co-search, but because inductors, they have such slight variations in, um, you know, the, the, uh, the current rating, you know, like we might not find one that's exactly 11.5 amps, but we might find one that's 11.6. And so if you click on this, it becomes an exact search. Not so great. Also the DC resistance is very, you know, it's, it's in the milliohms. So it varies a little bit. So this is the one time I don't recommend using this search because inductors are they each one is unique lots of choices the fingerprint on the journey on the digiquest on the digiquest however yeah. there is one thing that we do know for sure which is it's going to be a one micro henry inductor so you start with the basics there's a couple different options but what we want is the fixed inductors which is also where there's the most okay so then the question is how do you Figure out which of these inductors you yeah. want, because there's there's hundreds. Which. How do I figure out which? There's too many. Too many. Too many choices. So this is there's 5,500. Too lot. many. So here's some quick ways to cut down the number without sacrificing options. Um, so the first thing I do is I I select only active, because everything that's discontinued last time buyer obsolete. It's it's not what I want. I want something that's going to be around for a while. So that gets rid of like a thousand. So this is what it's just like. You just want to slice away. With the DigiKey search, you'll always have quantity. That's assumed. You'll have thousands of things that fit that that search. But now it's all about getting to the exact thing. So now you've already just chopped off a thousand. You just chopped off, and that's the easiest one because cool. it, you always want the active, unless you're sure. doing something special like re repairing an old device. You need a matching cool. inductor in general. All right, first thing. Active. Active. Now Next. What? Mounting type. Now, I know that I'm going to have a surface mount inductor. So again, that gets rid of another thousand because I'm not going to have a through hole design. It's going to be surface mount. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the inductance. Now, sometimes you'll want to pick like, oh, it could be 1.01 or 1.1. So I, I'm okay with that. I will, it doesn't do it, you know, a huge job of, of reducing it but it does reduce it a little bit um you know to select a range 
And I'm sorry, it doesn't increase it much to select a range. So I usually just select a little range because I want it around one micro Henry. Anything else here, way too much. And you'll notice because you typed in one, it's you know it gets 331 because it's a sub. Character. Digimon Adventure was taken. Good name though. Okay, so we're down to like 3,500 All options. Right. That's that's uh, getting closer to okay. the one. To the one. Um, next up. Um, I'm going to go only for shielded because I want to, I'll pay a little bit more to get shielded, so I reduce EMI, and that cuts down another 1,000. So now we're, wow. we're down to about 2,300, which is a lot. Now we're going to get even lower. I don't want bulk packaging. I don't want tray packaging. I only want the cut tape, digi reel, and tape and reel. Um, sometimes I'll actually just search for cut tape because I, you know, I don't want the full quantity. On the other hand, I found that searching just for tape and reel and then you can get the cut tape because right now for every product that's in here, all, you know, 3,000 or so 2,000 products, you're going to have like a duplicate. You're going to have the digi digi reel version, the cut tape version, the, the tape and reel version. So if you just select the tape and reel, now you're down to 1,000. Okay, so we, we haven't even done any really good specification searches and you've already reduced the, pl the playing field a lot. Yep, they're also saying BitQuest. I'm just going to keep, you keep coming up with good names. Good I'm going to keep mentioning them. So what are we down to? How close are we to the We're, we're down to 1,000. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. So this is like a little video game. 5,000, now we're down to 1,000. Okay. It's like Tetris. So now <laughs> we actually have to look at the specs. So let's look at the specs. So it looks like you want the DCR. So the, the DC resistance is, of course, where you're going to get heat and inefficiency. You really want that to be as low as possible. And they don't recommend anything with higher than 8.4. So we go down to the DC resistance. And then we select everything up to 8.5. That got rid of three quarters. Now we're down to 340. Because it's like, that is that is quite rich. Because now it's like, okay, these are yeah. only the higher quality. Little comment numbers. here. People say they also, DigiKey has a great live chat. When people um, are searching, they can use the live chat. And uh, they've gotten help that way as well. Yes. Um, so let's uh, keep going. So now okay. what, are we, what are we down to now? We're down to 230. Okay, so the, we're getting the closer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a size check because you actually usually do have a constraint on how big the inductor can be. And if you pay more for a smaller inductor um, with the same specifications, but you know, to keep the same size as the other power boosts, I stuck with this, which is an eight by eight millimeter inductor, which you can see is quite big. Um, and in the data sheet, they also recommend, you know, somewhere between five and a half, five and a half by five and a half, to eight point, you know, eight by eight. So let's let's say, you know what, that is a good size restriction. You can see there's a there's massive inductors. So let's go to, you know, eight point three. Maybe I'll do eight point four by seven point nine. All right, now we're down to sixty five. Hyperfruit. Hyperfruit. Yeah. Okay. Um. So now you might do something like operating temperature, whatever other restrictions you may have. Height, which none of this really matters. Once you get down to like under 100, this is when I'm like feeling comfortable when I actually want to start looking. Actually, sorry, we have to do the current saturation. It's not going to reduce it a, a bunch, but it's a good idea. So um, there's a calculation for the, the saturation. Um, so you say here you want uh, DCR as low as possible. Um, you can figure out, uh, let's do calculator. So V out five times A I out 15 divided by V in, let's say three volts, divided by the efficiency, which is point, you know, 80%. So 6.5 amps. And I think you want to have, um, Less than 40, uh, for the peak to, peak to be current of less than 40% of the average inductor current for the maximum output current. So I think what they're saying is just like if you have 16 for the current flowing through the inductor, um, 
basically double that, which makes sense. This is you know almost doubling it. So they basically say 11 amps minimum, 28 amps max. 28 seems really high, but we'll we'll cut it off so that it's 11 and a half because they don't recommend anything less than that. And it's good to have a slightly over spec inductor uh, in the saturation okay. current. So let's select these. Nice. Okay, so now it's down to 45 items. Okay, this is getting really close. So now... 5,000? What's funny is actually the, the one that they recommend, I think, is here too, which is the 74431 I see this family here. These are all looking pretty good. Key quest. Key one. quest. Yeah. Um, so the question is which one to get. Well, oftentimes, you know, you're constrained by sizes and such. Um... I do have one trick that I always do, which is when I, I search for components and they're all like kind of probably good enough, I will actually sort by quantity available, starting from the largest down. And the reason is, is that anything that they have a lot of stock of tends to be things that are popular and easily available. Whereas if there's only like one reel, it doesn't mean you can't get it. You definitely can get it, but it's just like, I feel kind of nice that there is this inductor that they have 75,000 of. It makes me feel like, ooh, this is one that I'm going to be able to get. I don't have to worry about somebody coming in and buying the reel under me. Um, it's, you know, a, a popular it's inductor. Like engineering, like, psychology. It here. is a psychology yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. And it's a good price. It's also 60 cents for a reel. And so let's look at the specs. Um... 12 amp current rating, uh, 7.2 milliohms. There's also one that's 3.9 milliohms, which is even better. So I might get some of those too. This is taller. So you're, you're going to, you know, that's, that's the deal is that you're dealing with a much taller thing. But the um, resistance is lower. So I'll probably pick up a couple of these. They are more expensive, which makes sense. You're, you're going to pay the thicker the wire, the lower the resistance. But I think uh, I can pick up some of these. I can pick up um, some of these. So once you go to the procurement page, uh, I like to go down to cut tape, and then I get it in the alternative cut tape package, and then I like to put down. Okay, so is this, did you think you found what you're looking for? I did. Okay, so that was... So that was that was a painless process. There was a huge amount of information that you were able to sift through fast, and it's like a funnel, like yeah, a funnel of parts. And then you're gonna you're gonna check out later. Yes, I will check out later because I have to. You know, I'm also gonna get that TPS sixty one oh two two, and I might also look for some other inductors as well. Another thing that, by the way, I didn't um, check, but I usually do is if you need warehouse compliance, select that. And then um, I like to click on normally stocking. So they, you know, obviously there's, if you need a special order, you get a special order. Some items are out of stock just because somebody purchased them and like they haven't gotten a refill. So if you're looking for like what are items that are generally available, which a lot of people who are doing like product development want to know, you click normally stocking. And that gets rid of um, any items that are like, so like this, you know, for example, this inductor, it's like, oh, we don't have any in stock right now, but, you know, in general, they do. They just, they just are out right now. You know, they have only 740 available um, over here, but it's a normally stocking part. So that means that you will get more of this later you don't have to worry about like oh the, you know they the only stocked it for this one time and yeah i'm never going to be able to get it again so that's a common thing that engineers are like worried about they're developing a prototype they want to make sure that when they go to production they don't get hit with this surprise you know part unavailability because then they have to go all the way through another redesign which is unfortunate so that's how to Quest out your yeah. We've inductor. got we've got Digifunnel, Digifunnel. maybe Digifunnel cake, Hyperbit, fru Hyperbit Fruit Quest Pro Edition. We got lots of choices, but this was the great search with DigiKey and Adafruit. We hope to do this session. 
If you're on the Twitters or on um, Discord, please at DigiKey, tell them, hey, this is a cool feature, and uh, we'll kind of figure out a way to keep doing this. Okay. 